so I'm going to show you now how to play George Benson's This Masquerade. We're going to start with the FAMP, which is F minor 7 to B flat 13. So that's an F minor 7, basically bar on the 8th um, fret, 2nd finger on the um, B string, ninth fret, and 3rd finger on the D string, 10th uh, fret. That's our F minor, um, F minor 7. And then we're going to go to a B flat 13. Now you could just play B flat 7, if that the next chord is too tricky. But I would suggest this one here, B flat 13, it's the uh, first finger on the E string, 6th fret, 2nd finger also on the 6th fret, but D string, 3rd finger on the G string, 7th fret, and 4th finger on the B string, 8th fret. You're going to be not playing this A string, but that's going to be muted by your first finger. So that kind of fan, it's kind of like a slow, funky, sort of Latin rock sort of style song, so let me give you an example of the groove. Something like maybe that's a little bit too busy. We could do something even more simple. And you can use that groove through the whole song. So let's go to the A section now, which is 16 bars. Let's break it break it down into two sets of eight bars. The first set, first eight bars is F um, minor. So we're gonna play that F minor seven, but we're gonna put our pinky here on the um, G string, tenth fret, and that gives us an F minor chord. Then we're gonna do that for, for um, four beats or one bar. Two, three, four. We're going to play this next next chord, which is an F minor major seven. I'll show you how to do that. So first finger is on the A string, um, eighth fret. Second finger is also on the eighth fret, eighth fret, but also on the E string. Third finger is on the ninth fret, G string, and then the fourth finger is on the B string, ninth fret. So it's a little bit tricky to play. We're not going to be playing D string, but that's going to be muted by the first finger here. The A. It's very important we get that fingering right for the F minor major 7 chord. That's one bar. Then we're going to go to an F minor 7, which we know how to do that one. And then we're going to go to a B flat 13 chord. Okay? Same as the intro. So we, let's play that. Two, three. We're going to go back to the F minor 7. Now D flat. Okay, D flat. Um, Nine. Let me show you how to do that. Second finger is here on the A, A string, fourth fret. First finger is on the D string, third fret. Third finger is on the G string, fourth fret. And the fourth finger is on the B string, uh, fourth fret. Now you can do a bar like that with your third finger over the G, B, and E strings on the fourth fret. So it's up to you if you want to do it that way or that way. Either way is correct. Okay, after that we're going to play G minor seven. And then we're going to play a C nine again. Now you can, if you want, um, put, play a, a G minor seven with uh, an eleventh on top. Okay, like that. What you could do is second finger on the third fret E string. I'm not going to play the A string. Uh, third finger is on the D string third fret. Fourth finger is on the G string third fret. And the first finger is on the B string first fret. Okay, and then we're going to go to this chord here, C seven sharp. Um, nine sharp five, and we're going to play those sharp five and sharp nine by playing a triad. Okay, that's a C seven triad, and we're going to put these two um, intervals on top, and just a pinky barring the fourth fret on the B and E string. Okay, so let's just uh, run those eight chords. Minor major seven, F minor seven to B flat. Back again. Minus seven to D flat nine, C minus add eleven, and C seven sharp five sharp nine. Okay, let's do the next um, eight bars. The first four are the same as the first eight bars. F minor, F minor major seven, F minor again, B flat thirteen, D flat nine. One bar of C7. Again, I'm doing that kind of Jimi Hendrix chord, but with the added ninth on top. Sorry, the added sharp five on top. Sorry, my mistake. And then I'm going to go F minus seven for six beats, and end on a E minus seven to A7 on the final um, two beats of the last bar of the 60 bar sequence. Okay, so let me just run you those um, those final eight bars. We've got F minor, F minor major seven. F minus 7, B flat 
flat 13. D flat. C7. F minor 7. I have to show that. Let me run you all the whole of the A section. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do a two five one sequence in E flat. Sorry, in D flat major seven. Sorry. So we're going to start on the E flat minor seven for one bar, A flat thirteen for one bar, and the D flat major seven for two bars. And we're going to repeat this again. E flat minor seven, A flat thirteen to D flat major seven. Okay. Now we're going to do a two five one in C. So we're going to go D minor seven. G13 to C major. Now on that G13 you may have noticed I played this chord. So we've got G13 for two beats. One, two, three, four. That's a G7 sharp five. The way I do that is I play my G13 and with my pinky here on the fifth fret on the B string I just drop it to the fourth fret on the B string. So one, two, three, four to C major for two beats. Sorry for two bars. Now I'm going to go to G minor seven for a full bar. And I'm going to do that G13 to G7 sharp 5 again. 2, 3, 4, C9. 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay, so that, that, the way that works there is I play 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And then I play a G flat 13. Sorry, my mistake there. G flat 13 comes on the second beat of the last bar. So let me just play you those last four bars of the B section. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me play you the whole of the B section, starting with the E flat minor seven. One, two, three, four. A flat to G flat major seven. So that is basically the A um, and B section of the song. I'm going to play you through the whole thing now, A, B, A, and that's how the, um, the vocal part sits on top of the A, B, A section. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, F. F minor major seven. F minor seven. B flat 13. F minor seven. B flat nine. C minor 7 add 11. C7 sharp 5 sharp 9. F minor. Minor major 7. F minor 7. D flat 
thirty shots in. B flat 13. Okay, so the way you want to strum this whole sort of sequence is pretty mellow, especially if you're playing to a backing track. Less is more. You could literally just go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's nice and mellow. Um, if you want to sort of funk it up a bit, you can maybe, you know, use your fingers or a combination. So, you know, the whole thing is just playing really mellow, sort of. Um... You know, so the whole thing about this song is less is more understated, really sort of relaxed and mellow rhythm guitar part. Hope that helps. I'm going to do uh, another um, a video um, how to solo over the vamp, okay? But um, that's it for now. Thank you.